Hello, in this video we're going to make a supply and demand graph uh, economics style. Pretty easy. We're going to use a graphing calculator. We've got all the values in a table here. So here we've got the prices in rupees from 50 down to 10. This is the quantity demanded. So this together here makes the demand function. And then I'm going to have the supply function with this one and this one. This is quantity supplied with its corresponding price in rupees. Okay, so we're going to do this in Desmos calculator and uh, we want to we make a table. So you hit, hit, hit this little plus here, create a table. We've got two tables here. One's red and one's green. I'll show you how to change that in a second. And to move this over just a little bit. Okay, now we can see. So let's let's put it. Now we have to flip this around because in economics the price is going to be on the y-axis and the quantity is going to be on the x-axis. So for quantities, we'll do this first. So I'll just plug in these here. That right there is our demand curve. It's downward sloping. And let's put the data in for the supply curve. Okay. Now I've got all the data and I've got these dots. I want to make it look like something I can use. And so what I'm going to do is go up here and I'm going to hit this gear right here. And then you got to click on that uh, button right there. I'm going to just click lines. So now it's drawn that, drawn that uh, right there. And then if I want to change the color, I can change it to purple. And uh, there I can drag that line up and down if I wanted to. I don't want to do that. Okay, so now it's purple. And then we'll do the same thing. Down here, I want to make lines. Make this guy red, I guess. We'll hit done. And now we have, oh, I just deleted one of them. Just hit control Z. And I'm good there. I don't need the dragger there. Turn that off. Okay. Uh, Thing. Okay, there. And so now I've got uh, the price in rupees over here, and I've got uh, my supply curve, my demand curve. I can see the equilibrium's right there. I could draw on this. That gives us our consumer surplus. There's our producer surplus. Uh, if you wanted to do something like set up a like a price ceiling or something like that, you could say. Uh, y equals, let's say it was 25, that draws a line over there. And what we can do is we can change the color of that if we want. Same way, we can change that to black. You can even click on that, it'll give you the uh, where that price ceiling intersects with the supply curve, and then you can get all the, the values out of there. Okay, and then so you can take a screenshot of that, and we've got a real nice looking graph that, um, that you can use in your class.